Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video for the ones who live. Just wanted to touch on uh, some subjects that we were left with with the season finale or series finale, whatever it ends up being. And I just wanted to kind of keep these videos going, keep the conversation open about the ones who live, the Walking Dead universe as a whole. And in this video, I know this has been something that has been on everybody's mind. You can't help it not be on your mind. It's just, uh, you know, it's kind of the elephant in the room kind of thing. And I've seen many of the videos about it, many of the people wondering about it, and I just kind of want to give my thoughts about it. But uh, with the end of The Ones Who Live, and with certain things being left open, or at least that looks like they're being left open, one of the things I wanted to touch on was the CRM, and how I believe it's has the story for it has been a little bit failed as far as the buildup and the delivery of what we got within the CRM with Major General Beale with what's being left out there as far as is there more story to tell and that's kind of the thing that bugs me because we spent many years across many different shows at this point at least three different shows where this force was being built up it was being really hyped up to be something that was going to be a major change or a major story down the road within the walking dead world and when they delivered it through these different shows it kept giving that buildup, kept making it seem like this was going to be a pivotal thing within the Walking Dead world, and then we finally got it delivered, we finally got the culmination of all of that within The Ones Who Live, and it just seems very lackluster, it really let me down as far as that story is concerned, it let me down as far as Major General Beal is concerned, because he was another character that was built up through the other shows, through like World Beyond, through Fear of the Walking Dead, not so much by name, but just by CRM as a whole. And when they came to deliver him, we were supposed to really have this guy that was the mastermind behind the CRM military, behind this elite force of soldiers. And then we get to this show, to the ones who live, and he's barely even in it. They, this is where I think they failed this character and failed this buildup, where they got this great actor to play it, Terry O'Quinn. They brought him in. He's known for being in Lost and a bunch of other things. And they brought him in and he talked about how this guy had so much dialogue and everything that he had to memorize and just the type of character that he was, the background on the character. And they brought him in and, again, he was barely in it. We had him, I want to say, part of the first episode. Then we had maybe something else sprinkled in the middle. I can't remember quite. But then we had his uh, majority of his screen time was within the finale. And, and then he was just snuffed out. He was very easily dealt with as far as Rick. And, I mean, that's not saying that uh, Rick's not tough or anything like that because we all know that Rick is a very dangerous man. But he was brought in, he gave the Echelon briefing, which was another little thing I wanted to touch on very quickly. The Echelon briefing was also something that was built up to be very just hyped up, to be something, as Scott Gimple said, would change the way we see the world. And aside from maybe a couple little details, it wasn't that huge of a deal. It wasn't a shocking revelation of information or this big mystery. It was just their plan to go forward as a CRM, what they wanted to do to help the CRM survive and thrive. But that was just another little thing that bugged me because, yes, the show itself was great. I really enjoyed the writing, the acting, the direction that they did, but there was parts of it that they could have done better with maybe the addition of another episode or two. But getting back into the original topic of this video, the CRM was just not the threat that they turned out to be. Yes, there's multiple levels of the CRM. We had our elite forces at this summit, and then they were gone. They were just dealt with. They were just snuffed out by Rick and Michonne's plan, which was awesome and everything, because I'm not bad-mouthing the show one bit. I enjoyed the hell out of this show, and I would love to see more, but I just don't think we're going to get it in the way that we think we are if Rick and Michonne actually do come back. But uh, getting on that, just... The way that they went about it, parts of it were rushed. The CRM's built up to be this major force, and then they were just done. But we still have the other tiers of soldiers, I guess, where we're going to see probably other leadership step in place to take over these other tiers. And But the elite force, this black ops-type force that we had for the CRM, they're just gone now. Beal's gone now. He's dead and dealt with. and just It was very disappointing, in a sense. And I know a lot of people have shared the same feelings about this, and it's something that they could have done a little bit better, but I guess we'll just take what we can get. Because they did crunch in 
quite a bit of story within just these six episodes. It's unfortunate that it did go that way, that this this force was built up and it didn't de really deliver as much as I think that it should have. But it was still kind of cool nonetheless. And I'm hoping that we do see more of this. And kind of within that topic, during that echelon briefing, probably one of the more informative parts and one of the more shocking parts that could lead to stories down the road is the spies. Could we see the spies come back and could it link to other shows? Because he says they're all around the world within these communities. Now, could this feed into Daryl Dixon season two? Could Madame Genet's group or little factions of it be the spies? Could it really tie that all together to further the cause of getting Rick Michonne to get Daryl back home or just somehow include them in that where we get that reunion that we want to see where it's going to be as magical as we all hope because Andy Lincoln has expressed interest in that and he's kind of teasing it with us a little bit but not coming out right out and say it but uh, I just there were certain parts of this story that I didn't particularly care for and I enjoyed it nonetheless but there were just certain parts that I think they could have done better on they could have delivered as they built it up so much and there were just parts of it that just that didn't sit well with me, and I really hoped they would have done more with it, but again, we will just take what we can get because they could have just said fuck it and never came back at all, and this story could have been one of the uh, plot holes that Walking Dead sometimes does tend to have. But with that said, just my little rant, I guess. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment. I want to know what you guys have to say. Do you feel the same way, or do you think the CRM story was closed out as well as they could have done with what they had but anyways guys i guess that'll do it and i will catch you next time take care bye